It's fun to see the players a little bit out of their element. You know, they're definitely maybe not professional shoppers like they're professional athletes, but um, they're great sports. They enjoy interacting with the children and kind of trying to find necessities that they probably need, as well as some fun things for themselves and maybe their siblings and their parents. The Wooden Floor is in Santa Ana, California, and um, we provide 375 students today with a year-round dance education program that we couple with academic tutoring, college and career readiness, and um, family services. And our goals today are really to transform youth in low-income communities through the power of dance and access to higher education. It definitely makes me appreciate more and more, obviously, how lucky we are to have everything we have. and appreciate these kids because even though they don't have that much they still came here with the biggest smiles on their faces and they still bought for their family even though this was all for them um, and to tell our little guy numerous times that he could have two items and not just one and keep going keep going keep going and they kept saying no 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 all right what do you want here what do you got you you like uh some guns huh uh, i don't know i no. too much too much what do you mean too much I don't know, and it seems too much. That it's okay. That it's is that what you want? Yeah. It's okay. That's why we're we're here. Thank you. That will make you happy. Yes. There you go, buddy. Add that to your cart. Thank you. <laughs> I've never really been into hockey, but now that I really met uh, a real hockey player, like I got inspired. And to see that beautiful smile of this guy, he looks great right now, he's just walking out. What do you think, Alfonso? Yeah? That's pretty good, huh? Are you comfortable? That looks good. That looks good, man. Put things in perspective, there's, you know, he's a great kid, you know, I'm glad I had to meet him. Understanding of the value of things when, you know, you gotta pay for stuff and and it was, and it was right at the end. It was, you know, the fun part where he was looking for a toy, which every every kid enjoy, obviously, you know. And he, he saw the number, and he's like, "Oh, I think, it, you know, it's too much." And, and it's, you know, these guys, he uh, could easily see, "I want this and that," and and uh, yeah, some some kids do that, but certainly people uh, in, in need like him, you know, found a way to go down to. Uh, what was necessary and it's it's very nice to you know kind of spark a little bit for them to have a, a fun toy and they're really nice like spoke with her she wants to go in political science like she wants to get like a nice education and they spend a lot of time like studying and like doing like what needs to be done but never for themselves like taking time to like enjoy this so mm -hmm. I feel like this is the you feel good yeah I think just the, the looks on their faces um, and, you know, they're, they're so shy about it. They say, oh, I don't know, I don't need this or, um, you know, we don't have to get this one. And just being able to say, absolutely, like, take it home. It's yours. You can get both of those things. You know, that's been um, kind of the most important part for me. Oh, there you go. You know, learning about a new sport that maybe they never had any experience to in their community. You know, maybe their family and friends aren't into hockey. But now they've met someone and now if they watch hockey, they're going to know a player and root for a player. And you never know, Alfonso could be the next business executive in Orange County and buying a suite at the decks, you know, in 20 years from now. And, you know, that's just the best part of it is that he's been inspired by today.